I've been out today catching some river bream. I've had a really enjoyable day and I just want to go through my tactics for today. The key thing, I'm in an area where there is some bream. You can't catch them if they ain't there. So if you have got them in front of you, I'd just like to show you my rig because I keep it ultra simple. I have a gripper stop at the top and a gripper stop at the bottom of my rig. So it's a total free running rig. I do that on six pound main line. So if I catch anything else, a chub or, you know, you could catch a barbel, you've got a chance of getting anything out. So it's really reliable. Then I have a two foot hook length. Okay, quite a standard hook length. Um, it does the job well with a size 14 hook. Just to talk about my hook length, I use some 015 fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon is very durable. Again, it's reliable. I've been using it on all my fishing, but it's a little bit heavier. So you don't get spin up, so you don't, so you don't need to use a swivel. So it works nice, nice and simple. But the other thing I like to use is an oval cage feeder. Because as you can see, they sit really flat on my hand. So it sits flat on the bottom. So if I'm fishing on a little bit of a slope, and with the toe, it just wants to sit there more. Where a round feeder, as you can imagine, would want to roll. So it just sits on the bottom. It gives you a little bit more purchase. So everything's nice and tidy. Then you come to the bait. Today I've been using different baits, maggots, casters, worms. But just like to show you my ground bait, I've been using a sweet fish meal mix. So it's not too overpowering, but there's a little bit of fish meal there. So you'll get the hopefully the bigger fish in. And I've put lots of particles in there. I've put some maggots, some casters, some chopped worms, a few chopped lob worms, because it's got a little bit more a bit juices in there. So that works really well. And that's really been my tactics. I've had a great day, I've had some nice big fish. I'm going to bait back up now and see if we can catch another one. One thing I have missed, it's really important to use a nice long rod. I'm using a 12 foot rod today. The reason for this is so I can keep the rod nice and high and keep as much of the line as possible out the flow. This will allow you to use a lighter feeder and a lighter feeder and to keep any leaves. We've got a lot of leaves coming down the river today and it keeps everything nice and free. Right, let's see if we can have one more.